and I'll be assisting with the flow of today's session. Firstly, I welcome you all on behalf of Johar Lord Buddha Foundation for this internship session. Today, we will have the very first class of this session and I hope your active engagement and full attention throughout this session. Today, I'm fortunate enough to have Dr. Nihar Khan Patra, sir, with us today. On behalf of Johar Lord Buddha Foundation, I extend a warm welcome to you, sir. Our topic of discussion for today's session will be electronic resource management. And Patra, sir, will be our expert. He will guide us through this topic and share his expertise on this subject. Before we begin with the session, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our esteemed guest for today. Dr. Nihar Khan Patra is the librarian on a professional level at the Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Brahmapur. With a rich professional background, he has served as the university librarian at prestigious institutions like Manipur Central University, Imphal, and Nalanda University, Rajgir. Patra sir has also contributed his expertise to organizations, including the National Institute of Food Technology and Entrepreneurship Management, Kundli, XLRI Jamshedpur, JK Lakshmipat University, Jaipur, and the Indian Unis Institute for Production Management, NIFT, Gandhinagar, and more. Over the span of 22 years, Patra sir has played a pivotal role in establishing modern libraries and revitalizing the older ones. To his achievements, sir holds a PhD in electronic resource management and is a published author with two books on electronic resource management in libraries, released by Elsevier USA and IGI Global USA. His research contributions extend to numerous publications in, ref in refereed national and international journals, book chapters, and conferences. As a resource person, Patra sir has been invited to various universities and institutions to deliver lectures on electronic resource management and other technological advancement in libraries. His remarkable achievements have earned him prestigious recognition, such as with the Most Dynamic Librarian Award, Innovative Librarian East, Rising Star Award for being the youngest innovative university librarian, and more. Dr. Patra is an active life member of various library associations and serves as an advisory member on various national and international committees. His primary goal has always been to contribute to the outreach activities of the organizations he is associated with. Sir, I am sure your expertise, experiences, and vision will inspire us in every aspect of life, and we are honored to have you with us today. Now, I would like to invite our coordinator, ma'am, Dr. Anita Mishra, to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed guest. Thank you, Navnita. Good afternoon, everyone, and a warm welcome to today's session. I'm delighted to welcome today's resource person for this session. We are looking forward to get insights from your expertise on ERM, sir. Dr. Patra will be covering electronic resource management and encompasses the comprehensive strategies and technologies used to acquire, organize, manage, preserve, and provide access to digital resources. This includes everything from ebooks and journals to databases, images, and audiovisual materials, effective ERM, and ensures the long term accessibility and usability of these valuable assets. So, uh, students, just like electronic resource management, we will use it. You will use it. You will use it. But what is electronic resource management? How you will manage this resource? कैसे आप लोगों का डे टू डे लाइफ में काम आता है स्टडी में काम आता है इस तरह से एक जो हम लोग का मोबाइल टेक्नोलॉजी के वजह से और भी आप लोग ज्यादा से ज्यादा इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट को यूज कर पा रहे हो ये सब के बारे में 
आज का ये डिस्कशन है और Dr. Uh, Anita Misra, the internship coordinator for inviting me uh, to deliver the talk on ERM. I also thank uh, Mr. D.K. Uh, Sharma, the internship director, for inviting me. Uh, I also thank uh, the Johar Lord of the Foundation for organizing these two, I think it is two months duration course, right? Uh, of internship program uh, for the undergraduate students of uh, Jamsepur Women's College uh, for the events, uh, the roles of ICT in uh, information and knowledge management. I understand uh, uh, that you all uh, come from the different subject area. Uh, more than uh, 250 uh, you have joined in this uh, uh, talk. Uh, <coughs> But uh, however, uh, you know, I'm a practicing librarian, as uh, uh, Nabunita told. Uh, I'll be primarily, you know, the uh, addressing the topic from the library perspectives. And I think uh, my topic and the theme uh, of the events are well aligned. You know that uh, with the rapid development of ICT and the electronic resource management, that is called the ERM has uh, transformed uh, how uh, libraries and uh, institutions handle digital assets, including the e-books, e-journals, database, uh, and ERM system, and uh, that, uh, that system, that means that manage the ERMs, I mean, the electronic resources that streamline the equations, licensing, uh, access, and enhancing the user experience and ensuring the efficient uh, resource availability. So the development of ERM uh, reflects the ongoing ICT analytics, uh, integration of discovery tools, uh, enabling these librarians uh, to make uh, data informed decisions. Ultimately, ultimately, you know, the ERM that features the crucial roles uh, of ICT in uh, creating uh, adaptable, uh, efficient system that meet the dynamic uh, need of uh, knowledge management in the digital age. So uh, this is a little bit that I said that the, about the introductions of this, uh, the, the electronic resource management. Are you comfortable with the English or should I talk in Hindi also? Or I can mix both. Sir, both. OK. So, what is it? Yeah. So, uh, I uh, in the introductions had that I published the two books, especially on the ERMs. This is the two books. Uh, uh, that is published in the IGI Global USA, and the one is the uh, Elsevier's. Uh, this uh, mentioned about the how what are the electronic resources, okay, and uh, how that e resources can be uh, uh, that can be managed in different platforms. So I'll be covering you now uh, the introductions. Uh, what is the e resources from? How these electronic resources that moves from the electronic resource management uh, 
and the life cycle of electronic resource management in the libraries how we manage the e resources from the different uh, the components like where this how we manage with the different systems when we manage with the different system that we call as the electronic resource management systems then what are the standards compatibility what are the best practices in electronic resource management that has been adopted in the different organization that i'll be talking and what is the pros and cons elements of the electronic resource management systems not the electronic resources that i'll be talking and the best uh, some best practices in the ERMs. so you know <clears throat> These days, uh, the libraries are, uh, as you know, that uh, that uh, we are acquiring the more and more electronic resources because of its lot of the benefits, such as uh, the easy access to information and its comprehensiveness. So, but the measures, uh, the benefits in the higher education uh, are the simultaneous uh, searching and uh, accessibility by multiple users. Search can be conducted uh, through various search engines. The poor equations, uh, uh, the content can be accessed and the reviewed, and uh, it uh, saves the time and increase the work productivity. Knowledge sharing can be done through the transfer of the e files. Uh, the research publications in the online journals help. Uh, accomplished and enhance the level of the research output which leads to professional visibility of the institute so uh, some are the difficult you know the words are some difficult uh, maybe the difficult for you because the, you are the undergraduates so you'll be understanding uh, 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 gradually so because of these benefits now these days the library is uh, having the uh, influx of resources a lot of the resources you know it is growing like the it is flooding of the resources and the collection acquisitions and the maintenance you know of these resources have become the very complicated tax for the, for the library peoples so uh, this focus you know this uh, library uh, to devise the strategy to manage the deliver the uh, e-resources very conveniently how we can manage those e-resources so Therefore, this you know this uh, uh, this ERMs that has uh, uh, that develops how we can manage the e-resources for this very systematic management of the e-resources and the optimal utilization because the, you are spending the crores of money for this uh, acquiring the e-resources. So uh, that has to be uh, judicial judiciously uh, utilized by the users like the EU peoples. So when we are, you know, the managing the e-resources, we have uh, the the e-resource manager who will be manage those e-resources. Like this uh, librarian, the library manage the libraries. The library, the some the library assistant, they manage the circulation desk, right? Likewise, uh, the mainly for the we recruit the e-resource managers to manage those e-resources. Their task is very challenging task. Like the uh, the initiate the E new e-resource acquisitions and negotiations with the, the vendors, publishers, organizing the e-resources in timely manner in a variety of systems, managing and maintaining the troubleshootings, maintaining teamwork, collaborations, establishing the policy procedures that uh, coordinate the acquisitions and create metadata with national standards, uh, local policy and procedures, uh, managing the license agreements, uh, evaluations of vendors, uh, performance, monitoring their services, compiling, compiling the usage statistics. You uh, will think that what do you do in the library? You will think that you buy books and uh, uh, register and entry, and then when students come, they will issue the book. Kar lete. But if you go to the big, big libraries, like these uh, IJRs, IITs, IAMs, their role is very different. Okay? They are totally handled with the different. Uh, you can say that if, without the any technical tech, techno savvy librarian, that cannot they cannot manage all those things. Uh, and the if you enter into this uh, library science field also, you can under you can know what are the, the what are the different uh, the subject uh, area related to the IT that you study. 
so if you are the good to in the it then in this uh, uh, in this uh, this it world will be the best leaders so the uh, to understand about this parity of the electronic resource management in the libraries in the normal library management you know acquisitions the normally uh, we plan and budget uh, planning and uh, selects uh, based on the budget we select the uh, the requirement uh, uh, of the books based on the, the recommendation of the faculty members or the students also right and for the journals we renew and cancel it whereas in the electronic resource electronic resources definitely the same things the we manage uh, uh, we plan and best uh, based on the budget we select but some uh, the uh, the journals uh, you know that we take the trial as a trial we study it how it is how it is working whether it is useful for the libraries or not in case of this the hard volumes we don't because we whatever it is we have to procure first then only we have to see it whereas in the electronic resources first we review those things as a trial basis, we get the, those resources from the publisher and we see if it is useful, then we will renew, we pay it. Like this uh, processing, you know, through the single registers, uh, we classify the books, cataloging the books. Whereas in the uh, electronic resources, different uh, the area, uh, we manage the, those resources. Uh, like this uh, integrate with the our library automation systems uh, link with the link resolvers a to z list we make we we archives i mean the, we uh, feed the data in the discovery tools uh, we manage with the our library website all those things uh, that need to do it for the e-resources in the other area the availability of how we can access those things uh, uh, like the print books uh, that it can be issued through this uh, you know opaque and the pattern checking checkout means issue returns and through the library loans uh, whereas in the e-resources it is authorized user only they can use it uh, they can download it copy it uh, send an email to e-resources and enter uh, you can do it in the interlending facilities when the interlibrary loans facilities so uh, <clears throat> you know this uh, how the e electronic resources are developed uh, how, wh what we call it what is the basic basic idea of the electronic resource resources uh, that is initially it is developed through the online catalog that is machine radial Google catalog then the uh, the online uh, OCLC then the online public access catalog that the web based uh, catalog database uh, bibliographic database cd roms online databases web based database electronic journals electronic books institutional repository some emerging type of e resources they call these blogs wiki a lot of these you know the uh, contents they are shared, they are shared with the facebook uh, linkedin uh, twitter that those are we can call as a, a e resources so uh, you know the in the library basically we have the two type of the resources the print books print area as well as the uh, the non print area that is electronic resources one is that uh, the books periodical uh, journals uh, reference books that is covered on the printed persons whereas uh, for the electronic resources that we call as like the ebooks e journals e database audio video cassettes microfilms uh, uh, cd rom dvd photographs these are this uh, area so in e resources some resources are uh, that is that we procure i mean when you procure it we pay something for those e resources that is called the proprietary resources whereas the other area that is available freely okay that is we call as a open access e resource Resources, which is so the very quality quality uh, quality a resources that is we peer reviewed means the someone is reviewed before publishing somewhere so the it is in different uh, i mean the two types in the libraries mainly proprietary and the uh, open access e resources so, you use open access e resources 
स्टूडेंट्स थोड़ा बीच बीच में बात करेंगे ठीक है आप लोग कोई यूज करते हो ओपन एक्सेस ये रिसोर्स है सर एक मिनट सर बच्चे लोग म्यूटेड है हम लोग को अलाउ कर देते हैं अच्छा हाँ हाँ थोड़ा अच्छा लगेगा बात करने में ओके ओके श्योर श्योर नाउ स्टूडेंट कैन या फ्रेंड्स डू यू यूज दिसोर्सेस इन योर स्टडी यस आई डू यस यस कौन सी रिसोर्सेस यूज करते हैं ओपन एक्सेस पता है कुछ होता है ओपन एक्सेस ये रिसोर्सेस नहीं पता नहीं पता किसी को भी नहीं पता ओपन एक्सेस जो फ्रीली अवेलेबल है बहुत अच्छे अच्छे प्लेटफॉर्म में नहीं सर नहीं पता ओके ओके हम बताएंगे राइट तो बहुत सारे रिसोर्सेस जो है फ्रीली अवेलेबल है जैसे कि लाइब्रेरी में क्या होता है कि बहुत सारे परचेज करके भी हम लोग लाते हैं तो ऐसा आप घर बैठे हुए जितना भी फ्री रिसोर्सेस आपके लिए आप यूज कर सकते हो आपका घर मैंने आपके स्टडी में या कोई भी कोर्स वर्क कर सकते हो तो मैं बताऊंगा आपको एक एक करके तो ओपन एक्सेस जो है ओपन एक्सेस लिटरेचर इज ए डिजिटल ऑनलाइन फ्री ऑफ चार्ज एंड फ्री ऑफ मोस्ट कॉपीराइटेड लाइसेंस रेस्ट्रिक्शन दैट मेक इट पॉसिबल इज द इंटरनेट एंड द कंसेंट ऑफ द ऑथर्स और कॉपीराइट होल्डर दैट इज डिफाइंड बाय द पीटर सुवर्स सो so, ये जो ई रिसोर्सेस है एक फी है कॉपीराइटेड uh, जो है वो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इट इज फ्रीली अवेलेबल और आप उसको आप यूज uh, कर सकते हो अपने हिसाब से मॉडिफाई भी कर सकते हो आपका जितना भी कंटेंट है जो पढ़ते हो जो कोर्स मेटेरियल्स है तो आप फ्रीली डाउनलोड कर सकते हो राइट देन वी कुड कॉल इट बैरियर फ्री एक्सेस ओपन एक्सेस रिसोर्सेस आर दोज दैट कैन बी एक्सेस बाय एनी वन एट एनी टाइम विदाउट रेस्टेंस वाट कैन बी मेड अवेलेबल अंडर ओपन एक्सेस दैट इज पी रिव्यूड रिसर्च आर्टिकल्स जो रिसर्च पब्लिकेशन होता है uh, आप भी अगर जब पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट जाओगे आप भी कोई भी आर्टिकल लिख, लिखोगे कोई रिसर्च करके आपका पेपर पब्लिश करोगे जो पब्लिश करोगे उसको पंद्रह आदमी रिव्यू करेंगे आप वो पेपर अच्छी तरह से आप लिखे हो कि नहीं ठीक है उसके बाद वो पब्लिश होता है नॉर्मली वो वाला जो पेपर है आप पब्लिशर से जब पब्लिश करता है उसको पैसा देके हम लोग खरीदते हैं और पढ़ते हैं बट बहुत सारे आप ऐसे आजकल पेपर पब्लिश हो रहा है और रिव्यू होने के बाद भी आप आपको फ्रीली मिल रहा है ठीक है अनरिफर्स प्री प्रिंटेड डिस्टिंड टू बी पी रिव्यू रिसर्च आर्टिकल्स थेसिस एंड डिसर्टेशन रिसर्च डाटा गवर्नमेंट डाटा सोर्स मोनोग्राफ टेक्सट बुक्स आर्काइवल्स रिकॉर्ड्स टीचिंग लर्निंग मेटेरियल दीज आर दम्स अंडर द ओपन एक्सेस थ्री लेवल सो ओपन एक्सेस इज यू कैन गेट इमीडिएटली ऑल द रिसर्च आर्टिकल विल गेट एंड यू कैन रिव्यू यू इट एज आई टोल्ड यू अवेलेबिलिटी एनीवेयर इट इज ऑनलाइन एंड फ्री सो ओपन एक्सेस ये स्टार्ट हुआ है 1991 टू 2003 से ये स्टार्ट हुआ है डिफरेंट फेजेस से स्टार्ट हुआ है तो मैं आपको अगर बाद में स्लाइड भेज दूंगा कि कैसे ये फ्री में आना शुरू हुआ ये कोई बिना पैसा खर्चा करके राइट सो so, ये टाइप ऑफ दी ओपन एक्सेस रिसोर्सेस जो है ये ओपन एक्सेस पब्लिशिंग डायरेक्टरीज है इसमें काफी सारे मिलियंस ऑफ दी रिसोर्सेस ये है ओपन सर्च इंजन है ओपन एक्सेस सीरियल्स है जर्नल्स है ओपन एक्सेस जर्नल्स पब्लिशर है ई बुक बुक्स है ओपन एक्सेस स्टैंडर्ड्स भी है पैटर्न भी है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक थेसिस डिसर्टेशन है ई प्रिंट मीन्स आर्काइव्स है जो कि पब्लिश से पहले एक पब्लिश हो जाता है ठीक है एक पब्लिशर साइट में कोई पब्लिश होने से पहले एक ई प्रिंट से आर्काइव कर देते हैं इसको तो ओपन एक्सेस एजुकेशनल कोर्सवेयर है फ्रीली जो आज कोर्स पढ़ते हैं वो भी फ्रील भी है कंसोर्शियम ऑफ ओपन कोर्स ओपन लर्निंग टूल्स है वर्चुअल लाइब्रेरी सब्जेक्ट गेट हुए हैं ओपन एक्सेस वीडियो लेक्चर्स है बहुत सारे है ये सब है 
तो ये सब अपन हाउ हु आर दी इन्वॉल्व टू प्रमोटिंग दिस ओपन एक्सेस सो दैट एवरीबॉडी अंडर प्रिविलेज आई मींस दोज हु आर दोज यू डोंट हैव द एनी इन द बजट टू सब्सक्राइब इट दे कैन आल्सो एक्सेस इट सो दे आर द द बॉडीज दे आर यू नो दे आर इन्वॉल्विंग टू प्रमोट दिस ओपन एक्सेस रिसोर्सेज दैट इज द एलियंस ऑफ द टेक्स्ट पेयर एक्सेस ऑस्ट्रेलियन गवर्नमेंट ओपन एक्सेस कनाडियन एसोसिएशन रिसर्च सेंटर फॉर रिसर्च कम्युनिकेशन कॉन्फिडेशन ऑफ द ओपन एक्सेस रिपोजिटरी क्रिएटिव कमांड्स ड्यूरा स्पेस इफला इंटरनेट आर काइव्स दीज आर दी मेनी ऑर्गनाइजेशन यू नो दे आर प्रमोटिंग द ओपन एक्सेस सो देर आर यू नो दे वेन यू आर सर्चिंग एनी थिंग्स ना आप कुछ भी सर्च करते हो क्या करते हो हमेशा गूगल को जाते हो या याहू को जाते हो गूगल याहू दैट वी कॉल एज ए सरफेस वेब देर आर अदर वेब ऑल्सो दैट इज डीप वेब एंड डार्क वेब सरफेस वेब में क्या है जो गूगल है और याहू है और बिंगो है बिंग है ये जो है ओनली फाइव परसेंट कंटेंट आर इंडेक्स दैट इज एवेलेबल ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड जो पांच परसेंट जो इंफॉर्मेशन है वो ओनली इंडेक्स है सरफेस वेब में दैट मीन्स गूगल में वेर एज नाइन्टी परसेंट और इंफॉर्मेशन आर पब्लिकली अवेलेबल विदाउट एक्सेशन इन दीप वेब डीप वेब का सर्च इंजिन में बताऊंगा जिसमें से आपको एकट मिलेगा गूगल में क्या है कभी कभी फेक इंफॉर्मेशन भी मिल जाएगा गलत भी मिलता है कोई भी कुछ भी पोस्ट कर लेता है आपको पता नहीं चलता है इट इज राइट और रॉन्ग वेर एज इट विल सर्च थ्रू दीप वेब All are the right information and the accurate information will get it. Dark web जो है वो तो illegal काम करने के लिए बहुत सारे वो जो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में काम करते हैं और बहुत सारे ये सब करते हैं That is for that the web browser like the Tor and the I2P वो जो browsers है उसी में use करते हैं तक जाए right? So deep webs में क्या है Oyster open access uh, the resource uh, Indian catalog Oyster academic search engine database Google Scholar है uh, collection of open access research paper core है uh, virtual repository uh, of learning resources NDLI अभी देखाऊंगा NDLI में कैसे होता है multidisciplinary search database the Microsoft Academy social networking site for scientists and the researchers uh, research yet डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ एकेडमिक जर्नल्स बुक्स प्राइमरी रिसोर्सेज जेस्टर है सर्च इंजिन फॉर बायोमेडिकल लिटरेचर लाइफ साइंस जर्नल्स ऑनलाइन बुक्स पॉप मैड है वो जो है आपको इसमें अगर आप सर्च करोगे तो दैट विल गेट द राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन विदाउट एनी विल नॉट गेट एनी फेक इन्फॉर्मेशन देर मेडिकली फोकस्ड सर्च इंजिन मेडनर्स है एकेडमिक वेब रिसोर्सेस बेस है साइंटिफिक लिटरेचर डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी एंड सर्च इंजिन ये है डायरेक्टरी ऑफ ओपन एक्सेस जर्नल्स लॉट ऑफ दर्नल्स गेट फ्रॉम दी ओ जी सो दिज आर दी डीप वेब सर्च मैं अब ये लाओ लेट मी शो यू दैट इज दिस यू नो लेके let me stop this presentation i'll show you this ndli how you get the lot of information from there how many of you know about the ndli national digital library of india i know कितना लोग जानते हैं नेशनल डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ इंडिया में कोई नहीं ये देखो दिस इज द नेशनल डिजिटल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ इंडिया यू कैन लॉग इन यू कैन क्रिएट योर आईडी विदाउट पेइंग एनी फी दिस इज द फी ओके हियर यू कैन सर्च इन डिफरेंट एरिया 
I mean this different uh, subject area, whether you are higher education, research, collection, uh, career development, cultural newspapers, all those things, right? Uh, let's check uh, the this one. Okay, this is disturbing. See educational levels. You all are undergraduate students, view, right? You all are undergraduate students. I'm clicking here the undergraduate. Yes, uh, I'm yes, clicking sir. here the, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm clicking here the undergraduate. Yes, you, can, you, you, create, uh, you create your ID here, NDLI, this is NDLI IIT KGP.SE.IN. This is hosted in the IIT Kadak course. And whatever the contents are available here, that is freely available. Uh, once you create a, a creator id that uh, you create like in the googles or the i mean the gmails or anywhere any 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 platforms so you create like that you create here freely then you click here in the undergraduate okay see undergraduate under the undergraduate there are a lot of the subjects are there computers philosophy Psychology, religion, social science. Uh, social science mein kya kya? Bahut sare hai. Communications, economics, law, education, uh, eco political uh, assistance. Yes, bahut sare subject hai diya. Thik hai? Toh per, jitna bhi subjects are maximum all subjects hai diya mein hai, right? You choose like that. Right? Then, educational content. Educational use, kon kon sa area ka hai? That is uh, assignment, uh, assessment, uh, assignment, uh, lecture, uh, problem solving, uh, you know, self learning, uh, reading, uh, research. Uh. Language, you can Hindi, you can learn Hindi, you can learn Hindi, you can learn Hindi, you can you know, the lot of the language uh, that is covered. The resource types, the video lectures, uh, course materials, uh, okay, the lectures notes. Uh, uh, self assessment uh, chapters uh, question papers uh, books uh, articles ye uh, type ka hai abhi short karke bata right content provider source hai ye ye content provider ye log jo hai ye content idhar diye hain freely then content types hai animation ka kitna hai audio ka elements hai right image hai simulation hai text hai video hai video kitna hai itne sa aap video dekh bhi pad sakte ho let's see one examples uh, history. Let's see what is history. This is this is the more okay. History and geography, right? Then educational type. Check it. Lectures. यहाँ पे अगर क्लिक करोगे आपको फ्री में देखेगा. So likewise, millions of the information, I mean the, the resources, e-resources, you will get from this NDLI site. Any language resource types like video, video lecture it is there, right? Then faculty contributions are sample of contributions. The faculty, all these uh, videos, the maximum faculty, all the faculty are they have contributed here. Likewise, you will get the new idea from these e-resources. So let me stop this one and uh, present me back to my presentation. So likewise, if it, it will go to, to the different uh, site, you know, this waste or so you will find a lot of the resources there that is that are those, those are the authenticated. Then the open access search engines, uh, like this BAS, I, as I told in this previous slide, uh, the search here, the Google scholars, uh, uh, this one. 
you use whenever you are searching for your educational materials you search you use you use this searching means right you'll get the right information